Hey guys, it's Aaron of the Finley Mortgage Team and today we're gonna to talk about residential versus commercial appraisals. Your residential appraisal is gonna be your cheapest. We're looking at four to $600, depending on how quickly you need to get it done and where the property is located. In terms of time to complete the appraisal, we're looking at about two weeks. That's gonna give the appraiser time to get, you know, schedule an appointment, get out there, uh, do their inspection, write the report up and get it back to us. Now, how they derive the value on a residential appraisal, they're gonna take a look at the comparison approach. So they're gonna compare your subject property to three to five different other similar properties um, and maybe make some adjustments along the way so maybe we're looking at a house with a garage and the subject doesn't have the garage or maybe a house with a pool and your subject doesn't have that pool they're gonna take those uh, additional features and adjust the price of the house accordingly and then compare those to your subject purchase and create your final value from there now on the commercial side there's actually a few different components to it first the cost is much greater so we're looking at anywhere from like 1200 bucks to two thousand dollars maybe even a little bit more depending on on the size of the property and the scope of the appraisal. Um, now, there's a few different methods that they use on the commercial side as well too. The most common is going to be your income producing approach. So the income producing approach takes a look at your net operating income after expenses. This net operating income is then applied to a multiplier um, and added to your, your market cap, your capitalization rate. Um, once we've taken that NOI, um, added it to your, your cap rate, that's going to give you your derived value based on you know, the amount of income that's coming in for the property. This is most commonly used um, for essentially all types of commercial real estate, whether it's multifamily or whether it's a mixed use of multi and retail or whether it's just retail type components. Now another type of appraisal that can be used is your comparison approach. They still do use a comparison approach on the commercial side um, and sometimes it is factored into the final value even when you know maybe mixing it in together with the income producing approach. So you know just like the residential uh, side, the comparison on the on the commercial side takes a look at your building and it's going to compare it to other similar buildings with some adjustments being made. And I find that often they will weigh um, this value in compare, like in addition to the income producing approach, and um, have it factored slightly with that. So maybe they have it 80% towards the income producing approach, with that 20% being on the comparison um, approach. Now, when we're doing commercial appraisals, the appraiser is going to need a few documents from you. So they're going to want to take a look at the rent rule the income expense report, um, and maybe have an understanding of any updates or modifications that have been done to the building. Again, these are all gonna be taken into consideration when the appraiser is putting together that final valuation. Now, one other thing to keep in mind with the commercial appraisal is the timeline. Um, we're looking probably around three weeks in most circumstances. Um, this just has to do with how busy the market is on the multi-unit side and that, res or that commercial side as well too, um, but also just the uh, amount of time it takes to going into the creating that appraisal. Um, unlike a residential where it's just done on a standard form, the commercial is actually done on a full narrative. So you're gonna get a much lengthier uh, approach to writing up that report. There's gonna be a lot more details and uh, you know, uh, economy factors are gonna be taken into consideration and talked about in this approach. So when you're looking at doing your financing on a, um, on a commercial building, keep in mind that the appraisal is going to take approximately three weeks um, and you are gonna to have to give yourself a little bit more time when putting together that financing condition. Now like every appraisal, uh, even on the commercial side, every appraiser is slightly different and they will use different market factors. Um, you know, cap rate is a um, individual approach, so each appraiser may use a different cap rate. So in the event that you had a unfavorable appraisal, again, we can take a look at getting a new appraisal done with a different appraiser, maybe one who understands the market a little bit better. Um, again, if you're looking at a specific or unique type of property, whether it's maybe some sort of like motel or retail-based or multifamily, each appraiser has different opinions and uh, different understandings of the market. So making sure you're using a very knowledgeable uh, appraiser for that niche of a market is really gonna help you get a more favorable approach. And then like I said, if it doesn't come in where you want it to, we can always take a look at getting a new one done. Um, it is gonna cost you the same, so keep that in mind, but depending on where that appraised value comes in, you know, it could be worth it to making sure that you're getting the full value for your property. I hope this gives you guys a bit more of an understanding of the difference between residential and a commercial appraisal. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the chat and uh, reach out to us if you have anything specific.